and today I am reviewing Music Theatre of Connecticut's production of Ghost the Musical with book and lyrics by Bruce Joel Rubin, music and lyrics by Dave Stewart and Glenn Ballard, directed by Kevin Connors and running through April 28th at the Music Theatre of Connecticut main stage at 509 Westport Avenue in Norwalk, Connecticut. Be a righteous brother or sister, if you will, of this channel and become a patron over on my Patreon page where you can, for as little as $1 a month, support this show and my podcast, Yesterday's Matinee. A link will be in the description. Based on the Paramount Pictures film of the same name, written by Bruce Joel Rubin, which starred Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore, Tony Goldwyn, and an Oscar-winning performance by Whoopi Goldberg, Ghost is about a recently deceased banker, Sam, here played by Seth Eliser, who, when given the opportunity to go to heaven, chooses to stay on Earth to investigate his murder as a ghost and protect his still-living girlfriend, Molly, played by Ali Seibold, who is actually married to Seth Eliser. Along the way, he meets Oda May, played by LaDonna Burns, who, until meeting Sam, has been a con artist posing as a psychic. Surprise to her, she actually does have a gift for speaking to the deceased as Sam communicates to her, asking for help to speak to Molly. As a musical adaptation, Ghost loses some narrative strengths that the movie has, mostly due to the casting. When there are only five principal characters in the stage version, it becomes quickly apparent who the ultimate villain is. There are a couple of other small supporting characters as well, but nothing that brings attention beyond their immediate scenes, and most of them are dead as well. Connors' direction at the beginning of the show doesn't help matters as there is some telegraphing that I feel goes beyond foreshadowing in indicating what's about to happen to Sam and who is involved. That being said, MTC has created a pretty exceptional production. MTC is one of the smallest professional regional theaters in Connecticut, and when it produces a show like Ghost that had a large production value on Broadway, they usually succeed when they go minimalist. The ensemble is small with a total cast of 10. The score is reduced to a handful of instruments, which is kind of a win or loss situation. Uh, depending upon how you look at it, it doesn't have the robust sound of a large ensemble, but it does kind of make the music a little less of its period and kind of makes it work in a more neutral sense. April M. Bartlett's scenic and prop design keeps things as practical as possible, using mostly black box theater style set pieces like set blocks and a couple of small tables. A set of five sliders upstage designed to look like the New York City skyline have multiple uses, firstly as projections of city buildings, but also as doors and for some of the magical effects that go on. The good thing is, is that this all works. Yes, it's not going to have any show-stopping magical effects, but still works in its storytelling effectiveness, and unlike some musicals like Beauty and the Beast and Sunset Boulevard, for example, that requires some form of epic design, Ghost has some flexibility that MTC can utilize. A particularly nice effect, for example, was how Connors directed the possessions, where a ghost possesses Oda May and later when Sam possesses her. It's simply done, read beautifully, and are the best directed moments of the show. When doing minimalist productions of traditionally larger shows, you need a cast that is going to be able to make up the difference, and for the most part, the cast pulls it off. I should note here that I saw Ghost on its last preview night, so there may have been a few notes and changes between the night that I saw and opening night. I should also note that this is the original arrangement of the show, with the original songs like I Can't Breathe still in the show, which, by the way, Seth Eliser performs with heartbreaking tenderness. He and Ali Seibold are beautiful together, as well they should be. Like I said, they're married in real life, and their love shows. Seibold's Nothing Stops Another Day in particular is tender and wonderful. The weak spot of the show is the character of Carl, played by Matt Mancuso. And some of this is inherent in how the show is written, and some of it is in the direction and the acting. The inherent qualities I don't like is I don't like Carl being a tenor. It makes him too whiny musically. And then in this performance, there is the direction of the character, and in turn, to some degree, Mancuso's acting. Carl, I feel, should be a bit more self-assured and overconfident, at least in the first act. But with the direction and how the songs are performed and just the inherent writing of the music for the character, just makes him come off annoying and somewhat benign. 
The same can't be said for LaDonna Burns, who is amazing as Oda May, stealing every scene she's in. Her second act song, I'm Out of Here, is a forced number for the sake of having a showstopper in a second act, but Burns makes it so entertaining. I didn't care that there's no real point at the song. Music Theater of Connecticut and director Kevin Connors does what they do best when it comes to flexible big musicals, finding ways to bring the scale down in a way that works. There are a few missteps along the way regarding the character of Carl, but the rest of the elements are really good. You're probably not going to be floored with the stage magic that one may be expecting in a show like this, but MTC still captures the beauty of romance that exceeds the temporal in this, what is now considered a classic romantic drama in the cinema world, and is making its name on stage as well. But I am only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you'd like to see Ghost the Musical, I'll leave a link in the description. Also in the description will be a link to my Patreon page, so be sure to visit that as well. You can also support my show by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and click the notification bell to be alerted to future reviews. My next review will be the new Broadway musical, Lempica. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at the theater.